The plan was to use the Himalayan pink salt in a solid block form, the kind people use for cooking for some mysterious reason. So, the plan was to start by cutting a very thin slice of salt, which can be adjusted and transformed into a spoon shape later on. I started sewing away with my bare hands on the kitchen counter and surprisingly it felt very smooth, but turns out that was just an illusion and my kitchen was not Hogwarts. The saw got stuck and I couldn't proceed any further. So, I decided to remove it and try with a saw that had smaller teeth. This turned out to be a step in the right direction and I continued to make slow progress. The cut was not perfect, but hey, it looked good enough to me. And after almost 20 minutes of hard work, this happened. At this point, it was as clear as day that this tool was about as fitting for the job as me for being a YouTuber. So I went out and bought some improved equipment. I got Dremel and a few other items that can be handy in a project like this. I armored up like a salt knight, ready to face the salty storm or a salt off, and with great bravery, I dived into the cutting action. It was going much better. The Dremel cut through the salt block like butter. The cut appeared clean and smooth, but I accidentally broke the cutter attachment. So I quickly replaced it with a new one and continued with hard work. And there you have it. Our first slice. I was literally covered in salt and if there was the sodium avenger, I would definitely get the role in the movie. And yes. It also tastes salty. The next morning I realized we had a new problem. The cut piece turned out to be too narrow, so I had to trim a much larger slice. I quickly measured and drew lines where I needed to cut, then started with shaping. This time, because I knew what to do, I made a perfect slice really fast. Now, my next step was to trace the spoon shape into the salt slab and begin curving. Easy, right? But. I got a brand new idea. I can just slice lengthwise the remaining piece and start again from there. I swiftly sharpened my pencil, marked the cutting lines and resumed cutting. It was all going surprisingly well until I noticed something very unsettling. The radius of the circular attachment was simply too small to cut all the way through the salt block. There was only one way to fix this and I did not like it. However, I brushed off the salt dust and began hand sewing. After acquiring a few more blisters on my delicate hands and inhaling completely unhealthy levels of sodium, I found myself, well, right back where I started a few hours later that day. This time I just drew the spoon's basic shape and mostly used grinding to shape it, which turned out to be very effective. We were finally getting somewhere. After applying a few finishing touches, version 1.0 of our salt spoon was complete. However, before putting it to use, I naturally needed to give the spoon a good wash. After giving it a proper scrub, I was surprised to see it became a bit transparent, making it look even nicer. I was so curious to try it out as soon as possible that I literally grabbed the first thing from the shelf. Obviously, that was possible to eat with spoon. It actually worked. This is salty. Every bite was almost perfectly salty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I was so pumped and absolutely sure that my salty creation was going to be a hit and I thought, why not invite some friends over for dinner and show off my salty masterpiece. But then I realized, why stop at a spoon? So I fired up the Dremel once again and with my previous experience, I made a good looking fork in no time. I gave it the same washing treatment and the tines became even sharper, which was precisely what I was aiming for. Our attempt at a shepherd's pie or whatever it happened to be, ended up looking quite delicious. The meal was prepared and my delightful salt-crafted cutlery was ready. Oh, okay, that's salty. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, very salty. <laughs> <laughs> it has a cake, yeah. Mm. yeah it's nice, it's nice that it's salty, actually. It's very nice. Wow, that's good. Perfect amount of salt. Unfortunately, I accidentally broke the spoon, but that did not stop me from experimenting with just about every edible item I could find in my house. Things like butter, that in general need some additional salt, are absolutely delicious. Mmm, this is delicious. It's perfect. This also includes tomato paste, but whipped cream might be my favorite. And we cannot ignore 
things like Nutella. But the question is, what kind of food would you like to try with a salt spoon? 